Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitzgerald, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Ronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. And last week, Dennis Nuzzo defeated Steve Renard Jr. Now this week, he has to face Steve Ronald Sr. to become the King of the Palace. There's only one person standing in his way, and it's Steve. Up first, Steve Reno Sr. This is his first appearance on King of the Palace. Steve comes out of bogey lanes with a 113 average, and his qualifying score was astonishing with a 454. Steve Reno hoping to cash in on that momentum building, blistering 454 high triple lead. Got him qualifying, a little Off wide right. right, leaving the full horseman on the left. With a piece of wood rolling up against the two. This match is for all the marbles. This is King of the Palace. Oh, just missed the head pin. Missed the object for the spare. Wants the head pin to get the 10 box. Yes, for the championship for the King of the Palace. Everybody wants it. That's what the goal is. Everybody yep. desires to get it. It's candle pin bowling. It's the championships. Yeah, absolutely, yo. You actually heard Steve wait for that pin to stop, and he said stop, and it stopped. And he missed the head pin. Yeah, I missed the head pin. Okay, he's a little bit disappointed. Maybe the, maybe the nerves are a little bit tight here. But he'll find it. The veteran candle pin bowler that he is, he'll find it. This is the delivery. Concentration. Oh, left wide, hand left. side. Yeah, and a little bit now, we went wide left. Okay, he's uh, a little bit of the butterflies, I think, here. Okay, he'll find it. He'll find it. It's going to take time to warm up, that's all. Leaves the 1, 9, and 10 with a piece of spinning wood up to the left-hand side of the 1. Not going to be a help. Yeah, I'd like to get an 8 or a 9 out of this. And 8 it is. 8 it is. Up now, Dennis Nuzzo. Last week, he defeated Steve Reno Jr. Dennis pulls out a lucky strike lanes with a 114 average, and his qualifying score is 414. Dennis has been running this ladder a lot, and he's looking to cash in on this one to be the new king of the palace. So you know Dennis is going to give everything that he has to beat Steve Reno. Head pin, there it is. He uh, found it. He's left the three, the six, the ten. No wood. Difficult shot for the spare. Well, just treat it like the full horseman and run the ladder. Oh, he wants this spare in the opening box. Oh, does he want this shot? And oh, he picked yes. it up. Yes, Beautiful he did. Shot. He went between them. He split the three and the six. Once again, people angle of the ball, splitting it. Our excellent, excellent replay. That's how to make that spare. Made maybe 20% of the time. Here he is up on alley four for the fill. Oh, oh no, half no. Worcester. Half Worcester, right? Last week we saw Dennis throw half Worcesters, and he wasn't too happy, especially when it was on marks. Now he repeats it, unfortunately, the three and the nine. Oh, is that disappointing? Oh, oh no, he did no, it again. He did it Same again. Same thing last week. He's going to Worcester, David. Oh, this oh is, is this disappointing? The, the only difference is what he did last week, he didn't have that five pin back there. But he came out of oh, Worcester. Oh, he the almost nine. picked it up again. again. He left the 10. Okay. He had a lot of practice on that shot. Oh, that's still a good out. Excellent. Oh. Dennis with a four pin lead, 21 to 17. Up, Steve Reno. Oh, he's, he looks to me like he's zeroing in on the approach. Oh, no, wide left again, but he's huh? left the one and the 10. He's got, got a wood. Bit of a break. He's probably going to go to the inside of the head pin here, David, to the right side, I would think. Well, he's going to wait till all this wood stay, yeah. stays down. He actually might go to the left of it. No, you don't know. You're right. In candle pin bowling, the wood has to be frozen solid. You cannot throw the ball if the wood is moving. Nice oh, pickup. Yeah, went right into it, ricocheted it. Nice spare. It looked to me like the, the, ten, the, excuse me, the head pin took out the 10. He wanted that. He got it. The confidence is there. Now he wants the big ball. He wants the big fill right now. And his delivery on the fill. Well, wide left. And oh. he only took out 
Six. One, three, seven, and ten with some wood up against the ten and one and a half in the channel. Go right at that head pin off to the right. Oh, nice he made pickup. another nice spare. Remarkable, oh, remarkable went bowling. Went to the left. Nice and job. The, the ball took out the seven. Back to back spares. Caromed off the head pin and went and took out the seven. Yep, now it's Dennis's turn to try to answer back from Steve's double spares. Well, he opened up a two open boxes. He wants the mark. He wants the mark. Oh, oh, way to the right. And he dropped it again. He dropped it. Uh, he, he knows knew it. he's disappointed. He's got to find it, David. He's yep, got to find absolutely. it. It may be the nerves. It happens. The camera's on. Got to throw the strike ball to get the spear. No, wide left. He's left three up for 10 bucks. One, three, and seven with a piece of wood in front of the seven. Let's see if he can't pick this up for a 10 box. Picks it up. Beautiful shot for a 10. That's a difficult 10, but he made it. Okay. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all the new audiences in the land. You know, it's last week we mentioned Saugus and Sterling and welcome all and Lemonster Fitchburg, thank you very much for picking up the show. We appreciate it. And if you are interested in seeing King of the Palace on the show on your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, call up your local access TV provider and say, hey, we want the King of the Palace. They'll contact us and we'll get it out to them. Very well said, David. Very well said. All right. Dennis, oh, Ooh, drops it for a 10. He finally found the head pin in that box and unfortunately left five pins up in a split formation. Very difficult. He's very disappointed. Oh, I left the seven box. Got a seven box. He hit the head pin and left the seven. Uh, right now, yeah. Steve Reno holding on to a five pin lead. And whatever he gets on the field ball will add to that five pin lead. <laughs> Absolutely right. Back to back strikes his last time up. Back to back. Um, excuse Mines. me, back to back spares. Yep, he, he wants the good fill. He wants the eight, nine, or ten, and he found it. There oh, it is. Drops you can't hammer. do any better Spanish than that. Strike you cannot fill. do any better. You obliterated him. Beautiful. Them. And if we notice people out there in Candlepin Bowling Land, he does not throw a real fast ball, in my opinion. He does Moder not. Moderate speed ball, but controllable and accurate. Very. That ball found the full one three pocket, and he's up on alley four. He wants a double. Oh. To the left. One, three, six. Six, nine, and seven. The piece of wood behind the three and the six. He's got to attack the first three to hopefully get the back two. Oh, oh, he missed the, the object. Yeah. Yep. He, but he got he got nine on the on the strike. Nothing wrong with strike full of a nine. Nothing no, wrong with a nine. Not. Get the head pin for the ten. Okay. okay, he's found it now. Two spares in a row, a strike, and a ten ball. Now Dennis has his. Oh, uh, Dennis. Dennis, is, Dennis, Dennis has turned the answer back. Yeah, Dennis has got to find it. No doubt about it. No doubt, uh, yeah, yeah, I notice he's, he's taking a little extra seconds here to get the confidence back in. Oh, that just takes one shot. That's all it takes. Hit pin, found it. Come on, follow uh, okay. Well, he left those three same corner pins in the box before that. Yeah, uh -huh. he wants the wood out of there, I agree. Well, you know what? I'd try to see if I couldn't redline this piece of wood. Yeah, it may take them all out. may take out all three. Hit it does, pin. beautiful. David, you called it. You called it. We all saw it. You're absolutely correct. The score finds him that every once in a while. You know, and this is call. Dennis's first mark and oh, he wants of this the match, and now he wants a big fill. He's he got some pins right. to make up. Here in the championship match, it's the fills are going to count. And he came up with seven on a weak ball. He's left the one, eight, and the nine. He's got wood. He's got to drill the head pin, hopefully get the eight and the nine for the spare, and he wants it. Yeah, he wants to push that wood straight back, back. into the eight and nine. He wants it. Oh, oh, no, the eight stayed up. He's shaking his head. He's looking up at the candle and bowling guards. How did it happen? I wanted it, but did not get it. And he got the 10 box. Yep. Oh, is he disappointed. Right now up to six. Dennis Nuzzle, 65 to Steve Reno, 82. Steve, 17 pin lean over Dennis Nuzzle. And just adding to it. Three marks out of four in the last four boxes. Excellent that was big. Excellent candle and bowling. Found the head pin, there it is. And, and he's low. He seven pin. The five pin drop leaves him with the seven. This is some ugly wood right here. Yeah, this is There's the like, you can't even see this pin. Uh, I, this is very, this is going to be From the bowler's advantage, drop. you can't see this seven pin, just a little bit. He'd have to try to play the wood. And he oh, he did, nice. he did. Nice shot, little bit, 
Nice English Gary drilled into the piece of Deadwood center, flying and bouncing around. And that pin says, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It, 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 it's shown on the replay. Okay, now he's up again on another mark. Working on a spare. Yeah, LE4. He's really found it now, David. He's, he's humming. After two opening bad boxes, he's fine. There is the head pin again. A little light, very light. He's left four pins up for a spare. Looks like the three, five, seven, ten with wood. Yeah, I would try to turn around and see if I could have hit this on the three pin on the left hand side. That's just me. I'd probably go to the right side of the three pin, and that's just me. Okay, let's see what happens. And oh, he went way to the left. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, David, oh, he came are you back. kidding me? You are absolutely correct. No, that's just that was that was that was know. luck. Okay, that Dave. one piece of deadwood came up, hit that one pin in the back, and just pushed it over and gave Steve a gift. David showing his uh, modesty about not calling a shot, even <laughs> though I gave him credit for it. Okay, <laughs> here he is, Dennis. He wants the mark. Oh, yeah, oh he should have had the hammer. He's left a six pin. It's d probably drilled onto the pin deck, David. I don't know how it stayed up, but well, it's there. Let's see but he's he got to get it. He's got to get the four for the spare. He needs this. Yep. Pick, up, pick up the four oh. pin. Oh. oh, no. Drops no. it to the left. Oh. The one place you didn't want to hit it was that wood resting in the back. Oh, he, very he disappointing. It. Very disappointing. Picks it up for a 10. That would have been a momentum builder. Instead, it's a little bit... It's I, more, say, I think it's, it's more, more frustrating. More frustrating and disappointing. The worst thing is leaving a single pin for a spare. That's the most frustrating thing in Cane Up and Bowling, is to miss the single pin spare. They all say it. Every bowler I've interviewed on the show here at the King of the Palace tournament has said that that's the most frustrating. Now he's found the head pin again. He's left three pins in the split formation. Yep, three, six, and four with some wood. I will probably try to hit this one on the right, yeah, the right-hand side of the three pin. Oh, it didn't help him out at all. He hit it yeah. on the right-hand side, Never but that one contact. piece of wood didn't do anything. Just kind of stayed there. Never made contact with the four pin. Everything bounced around it, and he picks up for the 10. He's come back with two 10 boxes, but could have been two good spare shots. And Dennis Nuzzle, 23 pins down. Steve Reno up by box 23, number like eight. you said, David, plus the fill ball here on Alley. Great box number nine in the foundation box. Boy, he had good fill here. We're really... Open up a gap here in our championship. Yeah, both these guys know what's on the line. Oh, he's got the head pin. Oh. There's a nine drop. There's the five pin. Stand right at him. No wood around it. Go right at it. Yep. Just the king pin. Just sitting there, David. Who wants, the who wants the title of king of the palace more? And he picks it up for a spare. Oh, what an excellent Steve player. is dialed in. I think that 454 is crippled again into the, into the series is really coming to fruit here. Yeah, it just it. goes to show you that he is a good bowler. Boy, that ball is really fine in the pocket. He's finding oh. the object. He's got it again! Nine drop! Oh, Same what? Same five pin. Same one that Dennis oh, this time, one. No, He just left the five pin before, and now he's got yeah. the five pin and, again. And Dennis he dialed one. it in on the five pin before, and let's see if he can't pick this one up for a spare. He's all yeah, over that five pin today. David, he drops the ball. He's a delivered, what I consider to be a delivered pin of the baller. Not too much speed. He's not a power throw. He's an accurate bowler with finesse. Accuracy counts. Accuracy counts. Once again, you don't have to throw the ball 40 well, miles an hour. Let's see what, what he adds to his spare for his first match. He's been 8, 9, and 10, and he dropped 8. eight. Nothing wrong with an 8. Yeah, he finished strong. I'll take it every day of the week. Yep. What a beautiful candle pin screen. Dennis up on his ninth box, trying to at least... Yo, this match might be out of reach for Dennis, but he can try to make up some pins and get ready for this match number two. He's thinking about a few things in the back, but you got to push it out of your way. Well, you you got to keep on ha hammering that head pin. Keeping yourself calm and cool. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what no. better way? What he better finds way? it, and what happens? Uh, yeah, I know. I'm not going to say it. There it is. People look at it. Oh, for the love of Pete. Thank you very much. There is, there is a bowling god. Steve did not mention it. We all know. Nine box. Hits the head pin and gets a nine box. I'm not saying no more. He's going up the alley floor for the 10th box. Wanted to find a momentum builder in. I'm not going to say nothing. Well, that's good because it looks like all that money that you're paying for therapy is actually starting to pay off. All right, he's on alley floor. Box number 10. Oh. oh, no. If it happened again, 
Steve I was going to jump. Up, I would have went down the street and went swimming in the National River. Oh. I'm telling you, I have one word. Nice oh, pickup. Nice pick. That's what a, a shot. That was a difficult shot. Oh. You picked it up. He had three Beautiful pins spare. on the right, two on the left. It kicked off the sideboard and took it down. Steve, smile. decap. Probably. All right, he wants to get an 8, 9, or a 10 on the field. There two beautiful balls that never got a spin. He's just trying to make and a spin. And then he fouled it. Now we got an eight. Maybe. Come on, Come hit, on. It. hit it. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Right. There it is. There's, there's the Jamison strike. A slow motion Jamison strike. No. Haven't had one for a while. Finally got one. I consider it to be slow motion. Match one. Dennis Nuzzle, 114. The Steve Reno Seniors, 154. This is a big lead for Steve Reno. A big lead. Well, Dennis is, and Dennis is getting ready to start. He's going to have to bowl out of his mind to pick, make up 40 pins and become the new king of the palace. As we saw, David, he opened up with two disappointing boxes and filled with seven knocks on the Oh, game. and he starts it off again yeah. with a half whistle to the left. Oh, Just like before, half whistle to the right, half whistle to the left. This is becoming a reoccurring theme with Dennis. He's just he is just off a little bit here in the tip. Oh, oh, and he threw it right through the pipe. Oh, what a way to start off. Oh. Very disappointing. Let's pick up this 10. Here we are in the King of the Palace final match. Uh -oh, and he opens up in eight an eight. Box. He is disappointed. Yeah, he's a little frustrated. That one hurts. But then again, flip over to the first string. See, Reno finished the seven marks out of his last eight box. It's only the first box. Anything is possible. Excellent scale up in bowling. Yo, but sometimes, though, you know, you know, the bowler knows that he has a lot of pins to make up, and sometimes it may press. Yeah, he got the head you pin know? this time. Good. He's left the eight pin. Oh, yeah, no, but this, no, this wood might be kind of a little bit of. Oh, this wood is dude. ugly. He know he's looking you know, at. It, he's like, hey, seriously? Uh, no, Are you serious right now? I need to make up pins, and you put this in my way. Uh, it's a rope. Cap it and pushed it right around. It's it's very disappointing, very frustrating. And I suppose I ought to add very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to uh -huh. do? Why did the pin stop there? Yep, you know, and, and there is no pressure on Steve at all. All he has to do is pretty much match whatever Dennis throws, Come and he, he'll be the new king of the palace. Yeah, coming in with a 40-pin lead, obviously very, very, very thick. Oh, uh, yeah. confidence level has got to be through the roof. But people at Bowling Land, as we notice here, he throws the same ball every time. Oh, and he drops it to the left. It seems to me today the bowlers are missing when they're missing the head pin on the first ball delivery. They've been missing left a lot. No, that's overthrowing it just a little bit. Yo, he fouled! Oh! Leaves the four pin. Almost. You have to throw the strike ball there, people, to get the spin. Okay, he's got the four pin up for a ten box. And there it is. Okay, he knocked it over. I'll over Close it. Over. box number one with the ten. Getting ready to start on alley three. Uh, alley four. For a second box. Working on that 40 pin lead. Not pressed this time. One, one. Oh, oh man, he's there's got the half whisker. whisker. Steve Reno proving he's human. So, so how come how come you don't get upset when you see a half Worcester to the left or to the right, but you get upset when you see a spread eagle or you see something out of the ordinary, like a double P knuckle? There, yeah, he's it's he's fully in Worcester right now. He's he's there. Yeah. I don't know if he took his bike or he drove or he walked or he, mm -hmm. or he, or he jogged. I don't know, but he's in Worcester. Oh, no, 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 that no, is no, no. ugly. No, <laughs> how can you take the that head is pin ugly. out? You got six pins up. He hits the object, and what happens? <laughs> ah. He takes out just the head pin for a five block. That's ugly. Only goes to show you one thing. That's ugly. What, David? It's candle yeah. pin bowling. That's ugly. Was, Where else could so it didn't even happen in our championship match. Absolutely. Let's go, Dennis. And he's off to the left-hand side. And he's left an ugly five pin lead for a spare. Uh, yeah. This is a little bit better than what Steve left behind. No, getting back to your thought about my questioning, questioning me about the spread eagle. Yeah. The spread eagle, I think, is because you've hit your object. When you take out the half whistle left to right, it's your fault. You haven't hit the object. Well, you know what? I guess Some me. people would argue with you. You hit the head pin. Yeah, you get. You say you get penalized. It's a little too full. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I've heard that. The bowlers have told me that in interview sessions. 
you know, sessions and uh, I'm crying. But there's nothing more frustrating than hitting that pin, head pin, pin than just picking the head pin. That's right. That's great. Explain that one to me. I know. I agree. That's why I want a physicist. Okay, uh, there he goes. Again. Didn't the therapist tell you about the, I told the you, physicist? Our excellent, excellent producer director, Travis Falk, has okayed me to invite uh, you, all of us, any person with a degree in physics to come down in a round table discussion and explain to me how that can happen. In theory. A round table discussion. Off candle pin bowling. And Don't why they usually charge like $100 an hour and they have well, like a little maybe padded I'll room and a couch that you have to lay on well, and close maybe your we'll, eyes we'll give them three strings of free bowling on the house. Or something. Oh, okay, okay. Sure. that's a good, a good exchange. A nine, a nine box. For psychiatric here. services, free bowling? <laughs> sure. Uh, that's uh, just like when you go golf and you shoot the you hit the ball to get the cup and it stays on the lip and it doesn't fall in. Why doesn't it fall in? Oh, because you didn't hit it the, hard, I guess, the ball hard yeah. enough. Okay, here he goes. He's, he's going to want to come back with those two. Oh, he's off, off the left. He left. knows it. Three times in a row, he's delivered a bad ball. Yeah, oh. but you know what? He can afford to do that because he has such yeah, a big lead. Big he's just shaking his head. He can't understand. He's got to find it. He's got to throw it. Leaves the head pin. Yeah, he can't find that head pin. It, it's, it's gone. It's escaped him. It's, going, it's happened to me. It's yeah. happened to you, David. I'll, I'll, yo, it's, it's either two things. Yo, he could get. He could be a little bit nervous with his head pin. Yo, this pin lead and doesn't want to give it up, and yo, or he's just kind of like off. Off. Like I say, not to be redundant. It is 60 feet down that alley, 44 inches wide. And he got. He got. He found it that time. And there it is. There's a, another. There's a nice another strike. Another Jameson strike. A little slow motion. And it looked like a piece of wood, obviously. Actually, I think back. this is real time, because that's about how fast it happened. Well, I can argue <laughs> with you, but I'll, I'll give you that one. All right. Well, right now, Dennis Nuzzo down 38 pins. He's got a long way to go. Yeah, if he wants to become the, the king of the palace champion, he's got to come back. Oh, he found the head it. pin, and he's left a ridiculous, ridiculous leave. I'm not even going to comment, David. Take it over. Oh, leaves the two. Six and ten, piece of wood on the two, piece of wood on the six. This one is going to be a little bit tricky. Beautiful pocket hit. Oh, it's one more. Oh. Come Squeeze on, fall down. Ah, uh, nope. That was a, it. Would have been a beautiful shot if he would have hit it. Why did it stay up? No, uh, because you know what? It just didn't get hit hard enough. And he picks up the ten. Disappointing. Oh, wait a minute, though. He got two pins. Oh, well, maybe another one will fall. Oh, they're, they're falling. He's got favorable wood. Six, ten, and the eight. With two pieces of wood in the front locked up together. We'll see what happens. Play the wood. Oh, nice yeah, pickup. Nice he needed yeah. that. That was nice a little bit slow. of a confidence booster right yeah, there. Nice form, nice delivery. Well, hopefully, it's not a little too late. Yeah. Awful lot of pins that come back in. Okay, Steve Reno up, alley four. Working on a strike. Alley three. Work, struck on alley four, and now he's on alley three. As in our championship show, the ball is alternating each alley, each box. There he goes. On he the head pin to the right. He's left the five seven. He's disappointed with it. Oh, he's got another ball. Well, disappointed leaving these two. I thought he wanted the five of the seven. I try to hit this five pin on the left-hand side. You get that piece of wood between the five and the seven. This could help him out. Oh. oh no! I don't think he. I think he, he knew it. That, yeah. I don't think he played it. No, that. he held well, on to it a little bit too long. He's laughing because he knew yeah. it was there for him, and he just kind of let let it slide. And he picks up the five. He is all over that five okay, pin I today. Know. He hasn't missed it yet, in my recollection. Okay, going on the alley four. Uh, he's thinking about that last shot. Yeah, I know. We all do it. No, you know what? It's just you got to have fun. Got to have fun. Throw the ball. See what happens. Oh, wide right. He's left the one, the two, and the ten. This is a common lead, David. We've seen this a lot in our show today. Yeah, it's it's been right. made three or four times, too, yeah. as I re recollect. Yeah. It's difficult, but it can be made. You just go to the right place. It's like, oh, Ooh, off to the right. Off to the right. Now, David, we notice on each side of the 
alley, we have what they call the side curtains. They're both three eighths of an inch in thickness. Obviously, they deflect the dead wood bouncing back and forth. And he's took out the one and the two for the nine right. box. Right now, Dennis Nuzzo, 57. Steve Reno, 63. Well, Dennis would like to come up Four here Four boxes to go. He's working on a spear. He's got to get it going now. Yeah, th this is crunch time. This is crunch time for the king of the palace. Every pin's going to count right here. Four boxes to go. We're going to crown a new king today. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Is it oh, be? yes. Nine drop. Okay. Nine drop. Looks there. like favorable wood. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, he's going to drill it. I would. Yeah. Plow right through it. And oh, he, he picks did. it up. Nice Good call, pick up. Good call. Good call. Okay. Back to back spares. Maybe a little bit too late. Uh, but it's it, never too late. It's never too late. You, can't you can make bowl. a lot of pins. Throw a strike here, puts the pressure you know, on Steve Reno Sr. Yeah. You know, if Steve lacks for one second, Dennis is going to come knocking on that back door as oh, he's, he's doing right now. He's zeroing in. He's zeroing in on this ball. He, he's got it. He Ten found the head shot. pin. Oh, and he's left another single pin. That's all right. This time he's got a pretty good look at it. He's got the eight pin up this time. Boy, does he want this spare. Yeah, I would go. This might be kind of tough because that's a tight fit for that ball. He and got he it. picks yeah. it up. Played the wood. He he's like looked up to the guard and he said, Here's "Thank the you," because he know he dropped it where he didn't want to yeah. put it, and that would actually helped him out. Excellent job. Was that three three spares in a row? Three spares in a row. Well, one, he had a turkey. Yeah. Turkey and Candleton bowling. Any combination of three marks in a row is it considered to be a turkey? Yeah, and thank God Thanksgiving's coming up because that turkey's gonna get eaten. Steve Reno, a little weak there. A little stuff in the cranberry sauce. To thinking ahead of time, David, if uh, oh, Dennis hungry. Nezzo comes up and gets a mark or square or strike in his next box, he's got four bo four boxes in a row with a mark. That's called an eagle. Okay. Oh, oh well, maybe. Nope. Well, wait a minute. Oh, maybe. Turns around, no. and he's like looking. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, four box, four box is in a row with a spare or a strike, any combination. In Candlepin Bowling, it's called an eagle. Okay, he's going to go after the 10, excuse me, the head pin for 10 bucks. He got it. He nailed it. Yeah. Okay. He's been, he, he likes his single pins. He, yeah, he can he's pin. Right he picks them up. Well, David, you were absolutely correct in the last roll up. Every pin counts. Yes, it does. That's what we Dennis, can't beat, Dennis beat Steve Reno Jr. by one pin. It's called pin picking. You know? Pin pinning or pin picking. You need it. Pin pin, there it is. He's left an ugly. Ugly. Three, six, seven with a piece of wood rolling around. And he's shaking his head. <laughs> found the head pin, found the pocket, he moderate was... speed, nice delivery, oh. and look what he gets. Oh. Get one. Yo, with Steve bowling the way he's bowling, he's actually opening the door for Dennis to come back on him. I know it. You better be careful. An eight box. It's the head pin. Right now. I know. It can be done. Dennis Nusso has a has to make up 26 pins. He's got a ball. Whatever you know. gets on the field, less 20 from 26. That's what the lead is for the last two boxes. Yeah, he's gonna need. He needs to oh, mark he out. Wants, he wants the big ball. He can taste he it. Wants it's the up big, to him. He wants it. He found the head pin. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, he's looking. This is. This might be all right. This yeah. might help him out. Makeable spare. He's gonna have to hit that three pin. Right to the left hand side. Maybe he will get the or to four the right mark. and, Maybe and push all get, that wood around. Get the four marks in a row. Let's see what happens. Oh, he cranked it up. Oh. oh. He is he is Decided. upset with himself because oh, he knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Just that fraction of off and he missed it. Uh, Look at that. Look that at pin that. was supposed to go down and it stood up. And he's like, you better go down. I hit it. Oh, uh, some. Oh. Well, if he doesn't do it here, we're looking at a new champ. Yeah, he needs a double strike here. He needs the double. He oh. needs a double, and he needs to make sure. Actually, he probably could use a triple right triple? now. Triple? Oh, well, anything above a double is good. You know, and he a has to make sure that. Won't do it or a strike spare won't do it. Oh, this no. might have sealed his fate. Uh, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Got a little bit of a break there. He's left the, the six and the ten for a ride. Yeah, 28 Excuse me, pins the four to and make the seven. Up, so. He's going to go through these two pieces of dead wood here for the spare. He needs a spare strike to at least tie Oh, it. nice shot. There's nice the spare. Shot. All right, last uh, ball in the King of the Palace Championship. He was down 28. He, he made eight. Now he's got 10. He just needs a 10 more to tie it up. So technically, Steve Reno Sr. will be the new King of the Palace if he does not throw the ball in the gutter. And that is it. That's it. You know, Steve Donald Reno.
is our Senior new champion. Senior is the new king of the palace. He, Unbelievable. No, this is all formality now. David, opening up the new palace planes for the king of the palace here with a 454 triple. I think that was a little bit of a background into our bowler that he could do it today. Well, no, he found the head pin again. Let's close this thing out strong. There's the 10 pin Everything left is up just, to spare. All this is right now is just bragging rights right he's, now. We're going to put the... He's the, he's the king. He's the, the champ. The crown's going to go on his forehead. He's going to walk around the city of Fitchburg, Lumber, wherever he goes. Travis, I'm not sure where our excellent, excellent producer and director lives. I think in his town, he's the, he's the king of the palace. That's what we all strive for. That's our objective. If you're a candle pin bowler, come on down to the tournament. Absolutely. You don't have to have, it doesn't matter what average you have. It doesn't matter how fast you throw the ball. It doesn't matter how big you are or strong you are. It's, it's a great experience. Great. Promotes candle pin bowling. And it's a it's a unique tournament. It's the King of the Palace tournament here at the New Palace Lanes on Daniel Street in Fitchburg. Candle pin bowling at its best. Yeah, and you're looking at the new king. There he is. Of season two. Yep. The very first king of season two. Steve Reno closing out his tenth box. And he dropped nine. He won fair and square. Great, great match. Yes. Camaraderie at the end. Right now, your new king, he threw a 99, but he had a 12-pin lead. Dennis Nuzzo tried to come back with a 127. Congratulations, Steve Reno Sr. Yeah, he really showed us something, David. You know, the 454 qualifier, I hate to beat it into the ground, but that, it is just so phenomenal to throw a 454 triple. Yeah, and at the end, Steve kind of struggled a little bit, but he held off Dennis. Dennis's last-minute charge. Dennis... Nuzzle finishing with seven spares, no strikes for the two-string match. And Steve Reno Sr. with one strike and six spares with a lot of good fills on this. Yeah, that big first match by Steve Reno Sr. actually helped him out. That 40-pin lead against Dennis Nuzzle going into match number two was the determining factor because Dennis actually had to make up a lot of pins. And as you can see, Dennis fell short. Season two is well underway. Congratulations to Steve Renaud Sr., Unbelievable bowling. Next month, Steve is going to have to face a whole new field of bowlers that want to come after his title. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to another great turnout of the King of the Palace. See you then.